Hey, it's Alan Jaeger with Jaeger Sports, and as always, thanks for stopping by. So we are now at exercise three on our series of J-Band exercise, do this, don't do that. Uh, this is exercise number three. This is called internal rotation elevated. And so first we wanna go over the main things that we want you to do properly, re-technique, posture, breathing, etc., And then we'll go over the things that we don't want you to do. Uh, number one, if you notice, for safety reasons as always, uh, the clip bisects the chain link fence. It's the strongest point. Number two, you'll notice the clip is going to be in alignment with my elbow at shoulder height. So the clip is in no way in alignment with my neck or my head, or if I was looking at it, my face. So that's safety's number one. Uh, number two, uh, I'm simply going to turn um, perpendicular toward the camera. I'm gonna make sure my elbow is perpendicular from my shoulder, and then I wanna make sure that my elbow is in line with the clip, so that when I come forward, I'm, the, the wrist cuff through the band, through the clip, is all in one alignment. Next, if you notice, my hand has a ch uh, an opportunity to go to this side of my elbow or this side of my elbow. I wanna be either right over the elbow or slightly to the right of it. Uh, but for, for technical purposes, let's just keep that right angle as much as we can. Next, all I'm going to do is just pivot my wrist forward. Now, a couple things to notice about doing this correctly. Number one, like the last exercise, posture. Like all exercises, feet are slightly broader than my shoulders, knees are slightly bent. I'm leaning a little forward versus a little bit backward. And again, keeping my arm all the way from my shoulder to my fingertips loose and relaxed. I throw a baseball with a loose, relaxed arm. I wanna let the whole arm experience that same kind of feeling of being loose and relaxed. Now it's simply about coming straight forward, but without leaning back or leaning forward. Okay, a lot of times we just say, let the arm do the work and just let the body be still. Um, lastly, breathing. Make sure your breath is nice and fluid. You're not holding your breath. You're not tensing your breath. And there is one last thing. We've talked in all the other exercises about making sure the burn happens at between 20 and 25 of the reps. So again, we wanna go nice and fluid in both directions. We wanna go at a pace to where we're not getting burned out early on. We're making sure that burn happens toward the end of the exercises. So again, this is J-Band exercise number three. Internal rotation at shoulder height, elevated, and this is how we want you to do it.